drama and I met really a lot of wonderful people and we put up productions together and everything and that really brought us closer together so I mean personally I really met one of my best friends in drama so that has been a really wonderful experience for me and I met many wonderful juniors um, that I think we have become lifelong friends for me. I remember when I was in Chinese dance and it wasn't something that I thought I would join at first because I actually started with no dance background but uh, joining Chinese dance actually brought me to a whole new experience like even dancing at the Esplanade which is not something that a lot of schools get to do but I'm grateful that NJ actually provided us with that opportunity and I don't regret joining the CCA at all. I remember um, gearing up for nationals and how the tennis team just had to go through suicides and PTs and trainings every day together and Yeah, it was quite tough <laughs> <laughs> But we enjoyed it, we enjoyed it uh, While we trained hard, it was uh, fun lah because you get to know your friends better and then you get to spend more time together and then like after trainings, you also like go out for meals together to like um, bond uh, so that you have better chemistry to perform. My favourite place in NJ, which is the Fail and the Grandstand area, because it's uh, very breezy and at the same time, um, the it, it serves as a very nice backdrop for photos. It's like very uh, picture worthy the background. Yeah. So and uh, at the same time, you get to see like all the uh, students doing different sports or doing their PE lessons, and then you, it's quite like very relaxing. It gives off a very relaxing feel. I remember the music facilities in NJC for music students. I remember the music facilities as those being able to really uh, help us along with our coursework for music, uh, as well as the dance studios which uh, NJC has recently built in order to uh, help the dancers along for their trainings and practices. I, I remember how um, as we were gearing up for A-levels, um, like many of us started staying back in school for night study and it provided actually a very conducive and a homely environment at the same time because you had teachers um, sitting there and studying with you and um, giving you consultations till like you know 7, 8 p.m. and yeah it just made the whole process seem you know less less tiring and um, yeah you, you just had your friends and teachers to go through it with you. I remember how um, there was once, there were the two weeks before prelims, um, I met a single teacher for consultation like um, I think four times a week and he was so dedicated and like, after I met him, I'll go back and then I'll realise that I'll have a question I forgot to ask and I'll type it into the email. I'll email him and he'll like reply in like an hour's time. That was like the most dedicated teacher I ever knew. I think teachers in NJ, they're not just um, people who teach you what is required in the syllabus, but I think they're people who actually uh, walk with you along as you journey towards the A-levels and through all other matters as well. And they seem to me more like friends and people who can connect to you on a similar level rather than people who just uh, talk down to you in the class. During our junior high years, where we had to board like um, for a term with our uh, whole uh, cohort, and then it was a time where you really saw your friends like twenty four seven. It was like you you check in on Sunday night, and then you check out on Friday evening, say after your CCAs or stuff, just before dinner. Like. So technically, you only you see your friends like more than you see your family. So and you see them like uh, from the minute they wake up, so it's like their morning. <laughs> bed morning, hair. morning bed hair, uh, bed, bed, bed face and then later just before they sleep, those kind of looks and then it's it's quite fun and then you get to spend time with each other where we were like sneaky How we used to bunk in each other's rooms Yeah, carry our and pillows and then we will, we will, we will, we will go up and go into the lift <laughs> with our pillows and bolsters and then run and sneak into each other's room because it wasn't really allowed la. <laughs> <laughs> Our story, what will yours be?